Nothing. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining me. We're going to get down to business momentarily. We'll give some time for people to join us, which would be great. Um, right? Drag some family members down. Call them up out of the uh, living room. Tell them to come down to the basement with you here. Let's get some work done. Um, hi, Dawn. We'll be uh, warming up momentarily, so if you have some hand weights, you want to have those available, that would be great. Um, I'm also going to use a small little ball like this so any kind of like little could be like a little yoga ball or even a very light hand weight would be fine but if you uh, have something like that a, um, a small little foam ball would be good it's not anything you know, they're going to be used for weight resistance but we'll be doing like a pass under um, things like that so if you happen to have one of those I would try to grab one but otherwise a bunch of different hand weights would be great if you do not have access to hand weights you can use some things around the house resistance tubes uh, cans of dog food Two liter bottles of soda, whatever you happen to have. And we're going to get down to uh, business in a little bit. So thank you once again, always, <laughs> for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll uh, hopefully get a nice sweat going here. Um, it's Monday. I, again, I wanted to be outside today. I wanted to take my stuff outside and do boot camp out on the deck. But uh, it's a little wet and uh, kind of a little windy. So um, I want to make sure... Uh, that we are good to go. Hi, I'm Rosemary. How are you? Nice for thanks for joining us. All right, guys, we're gonna get busy here in a second. So, thank you, thank you, thank you once again for joining me on a Monday night in boot camp. We'll be here Wednesday, same time, Tuesday at six. If you uh, want to join me, I'll be on the uh, Royal Fit page for that one. All right, guys, I think we're just about ready to get rolling here. So, thank you so much. Hope you're ready, guys. We got some work to do today. All right, my friends, we're going to start up with our warm up. Um, we are going to have that rotation through the 10 moves. We're going to do two laps all the way through. Um, it'll be a non stop warm up, so we'll have 15 seconds for each of the 10 moves. Um, again, for those of you that are new, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us so much. And just to kind of recap for those of you that are new, during the warm up, basic moves, basic moves that you've seen all over the place jumping jacks, jump ropes. Uh, lunges things like that, but we also have some things that may be unusual So one thing is called a ladder climber, which will be one hand up one knee up You'll be switching and taking both sides and just taking that into a job and move number four is something called a hip twister Where you'll be up on your toes nice, nice and high sort of like a jump rope But just kind of taking those hips side to side as you are working through those moves All right guys ten exercises two rounds 15 seconds each we're going to get busy, and our first move is a boxer shuffle. We're going to have those hands up in front of that face, just nice and side-to-side -side motion. You will have a beat telling you when to switch. All right, guys, boxer shuffle's in progress. Let's keep those hands up. You can even throw out some jabs if you want to. That's totally up to you. Move number two is going to be regular good old-fashioned jumping jacks. Get ready for jacks. Ready? Jack it out. Come on. Come on, modify, could be stepping out, that's fine. You just want to keep on moving, but if you're feeling good, let's get them going. Next move is prisoner squats. Hands will be at your ears, dropping those hips down. Prisoner squats. If you're feeling good, you want to give me a little hop, that's fine. We got hip twisters coming up. We're not counting reps, we're doing time. Hip twisters coming. Good. Good, let's go. Good. Next move, good old fashioned butt kicks. Knees facing down, heels going to your butt. Ready? Butt kicks, get them up. Let's go. Come on. Next move, back lunges. Hands will be together, we're gonna open up those arms as we go back. Coming up in three, two, one. Back lunge. Back lunge. Good. Next up, we're gonna do high knee marches with arm circles. March, big old circles, come on. Next move, we're taking out the arms. We're adding high knee runs. High knee runs, no arms. Ready, it's a high knee. Hit it, come on. 
Next up, imaginary jump ropes. Come on, come on. Jump rope. Hands holding those handles. Up on the toes, heels never touch. Last move is ladder climbers, then we go back to the top. Come on, ladder climbers ready. Come on, get them up. Let's go. Come on, people. Back to the top with a boxer shuffle. Jabs if you want to. Keep that other hand up in front of that face. Move number two, step out squats. We start with our feet together. Step out to alternating sides. Good. Next up, good old fashioned jacks. Good old fashioned jacks is next. Come on, come on. Next up, hip twisters. Come on, come on. Hip twisters coming. Get them going. Next up, butt kicks. I'm throwing those hands out to the side, twisting my hips. Butt kicks are coming. Knees stay facing down, heels towards that butt. Alternating diagonal forward lunges. Out to the front, diagonally on those lunges. We ready? Arms can come up if you like. Arms can stay at your chest if you like. It's all good. We're gonna march, high knee march, with arm circles in the other direction. Good. March, giant circles, get those shoulders ready. Taking out the arms, adding speed for high knee runs. Coming up. Get them. Hands out to the side. Get them out. Get them out. Come on. Jump rope's coming. Jump rope's coming. Good. Ladder climber's coming. Ladder climber's coming. Get them up. Come on, people. We have work to do. Good, good, good. Good. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so today's workout. By the way, as I'm going over this nonsense, you have a couple options. You can stand here and look at my beautiful face and listen to me, that's fine. Quick splash of water. If you have some open wall, shoot man, go over there and give me a wall sit. Hang out while I'm explaining it. Or minimum, just give me a little shuffle. Keep that heart rate up a little bit. All right guys and girls, today's workout is gonna be a pyramid. We got five moves. 25 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're going one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, all the way back up. Make sense? Okay, here's what we got. Move number one is called a step out squat. So for our step out squat, we're going to have a nice heavy weight goblet style right here. Feet are together. Stepping out to the side, stepping out to the side, just alternating side to side. Heaviest dumbbell that you have, or maybe it's a bag of dog food, or maybe it's a small child or a piece of furniture, I don't know, but just get side to side. Move number two, good old fashioned mountain climbers. Move number three, bicycle crunch with a small ball. You have some options here. Option number one, you can lay all the way back and then side by side, drive those knees up. That's pretty good. A little harder, stay up in a V position like so. And now I'm up off the floor and my shoulders are never touching, my feet are never touching. Easiest version, you can still stay up and keep those feet tapping down. That's fine too. But ideally, 
Give yourself a challenge for 25 seconds of passing that ball. If you don't have a ball, you can do this by just putting your hand inside of each knee. The opposite hand goes underneath. You don't even need to use a ball. You can use a crumpled up sock if you like. If something laying around, you can use that as an object. Upright rows. We're going to go two, one, one. Two, one, one. Isolate side to side. Our last move is four jacks and a tuck jump. You're going to do four jacks and then a tuck jump. My knee's still not 100%. I'm not doing the tuck. You can do the tuck. You're fine. Throw some dirt on it. Four jacks and a tuck jump. Now we're going back up the ladder. Are we good? Okay, guys, grab the heaviest weights you got because we have step out squats. 25 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. That's not much time to get ready. All right, guys, 25 and 10. Are we ready? We got step out squats. Feet together, weights up. You're stepping. You're stepping. Come on, head stays up, chin stays up. That weight is trying to pull you forward. I get it, I totally get it. But keep that weight up near that chin, drop into a nice deep squat, then hit that other side, good. We have good old fashioned mountain climbers coming up in five seconds. We're going down onto the floor. We're down, good old fashioned mountain climbers. Hands underneath my shoulders, feet are back. Hips up, go. Again, modify. Maybe your mountain climber looks like this. Maybe your mountain climber looks like this. Maybe it's a little slower. Maybe you're burning a hole in your floor. Preferably, you have a nice flat back. This is okay, but this is better. Come on, almost there. Three, two, one, relax. We have that bike crunch with the alternating pass. I'm using a small ball, like a dollar store ball. You can use crumpled up socks, whatever. Alternating and passing. Go. I'm going to stay up in a V. Driving those knees towards my chest. I'm not letting my heels touch the floor. If you need to, let those heels go down. Come on. Crunch it up. Crunch it up. Let's go. Upright rows are coming. Two, one, one. Upright rows. Two, one, one. I got my heaviest dumbbells. I got my feet underneath my hips. Weights are in front. I'm going two, one, one. Two, one, one. Two. Come on. Good. Going back down the pyramid with those upright rows. I'm sorry, I got jacks with the tuck jump, then upright rows again. Four jacks and a tuck. Put them down. Four regular jacks with a tuck jump added in. I will be skipping the tuck. Here we go. Jack's ready. Jack's set. I'm doing a little baby tuck. You're feeling good. Get way up on those jacks. And those tuck jumps. Upright rows again. Back to those upright rows. I'm going to use my band this time, just for variety. Here we go. Your weights are in front, or your band is in front. I'm going to crisscross my hands. Two, one, one. Two, one, one. I think I recognize a lot of names on our class today. A lot of veterans. So you know modifications and different things you can do. Like I'm doing my bands right now if I don't feel like doing my hand weights. <sighs> Bike crunch with that pass. I'm putting bands down. I'm going into a V position. I have my small object in my hands. Ready? Go. not a race. If you happen to get a lot of reps, awesome. If you only get a few reps, awesome. You just want to keep on moving. Hey, it's not a contest, but you are beating everybody at home on the couch. Come on. Come on. Oh, hips. I can feel it. I can feel it. Mountain climbers, 
Again, modifications could be taking your knee, your, your elbow to your opposite knee. Feet back, go. You could cross over. You could go a little bit faster, driving those knees towards your chest. Flat back, people. Come on, drive that back leg towards the front. Keep that butt down. Come on. Our last move is step out squats. Good. Step out squats. Here we go. Heaviest weights you got. Feet together. Weights up in front. Heads up. Go. Head up, chin up. I don't know if you have the luxury of having a mirror in front of you like we always have at the gym. You maybe can't see yourself. So you have to go by feel. Do you feel your weight going through your heels? Do you feel that your head is staying up? Can you see straight ahead? All the way down. Come on. Relax. Quick splash if you need it. We're moving on. Again, wall sit or perhaps boxer shuffle while you're listening to me talk. Otherwise, just hang out and catch this stuff. Move number one. I don't have a straight bar, so I'm using my hand weights. Hang clean and press. Feet at my shoulders, weights in front of my hips. I'm gonna hang clean so my weight's starting to melt my thighs. Hang clean and press. Imagine you're using a bar for this. We do the bar in the gym all the time. This time we're doing it with hand weights. Hang clean and press. Remember on that hang clean, the weight is coming right up your body and you're catching at your shoulder. That bottom six inches is when the magic happens. Boom! And then catch it and put it up overhead, okay? Move number two, ground ball jump shot. We haven't done that in a couple days. Back and forth on the side of your mat. Ground ball jump shot. Other end, ground ball jump shot. You know what you're doing. Move number three, I had this sign made up back when we did it in the gym. So you're gonna have a high plank. We would normally go over top of our bar. We don't have a bar, so I'm gonna use my hand weight, my dumbbell. I'm gonna take a high plank. I'm gonna step across and then back, and then across and then back. I'm gonna keep my butt as flat as I can. I'm just gonna get that rhythm. You're gonna seesaw on your toes a little bit as you go forward and back, maintaining that nice, even flat plank. Number four, come here curls. Whew. Nice heavy weights, I'm sorry, check that. Medium weights, don't go too heavy. Elbows are gonna stay facing forward as you signal someone to come here, right at you. And our last move, ball pass, power scissors. So, hardest version, you're gonna do a power scissors and pass that ball. So you're gonna pass, 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 and put that ball underneath your leg. Whatever leg's going back, that's the hand that has the ball. Boom, I pass underneath. You don't wanna jump, just step back, step back. But you want to make it a lunge. Try not to do this. Try not to bend. Try to do a back lunge and pass. Keep that head up. Are we good? Let's go. Clean and press. Hang clean and press. Grab those heavy, heavy weights right in front of your thighs. Let's go. Weights in front. Feet about shoulder width. Hang clean, press. Right back down. Hang clean, press. Right back down. Again, from the side, I'm not flinging those weights forward. Coming right up the body, driving them up overhead. Hang clean. You can even, on that clean, get a little pop where those heels come up a little bit. Come on. Relax. Ground ball, jump shot. I'm going to use the width of my mat. Ground ball, jump shot, then go to the other end. You ready? Feet ready. Ground ball, jump shot. Ground ball, jump shot. Come on, people. This is our cardio. We're doing a good old fashioned plank next. So let's get that heart rate up a little bit so we can catch it on the plank. Come on. Come on. Relax. High plank behind a dumbbell or some other object. Maybe it's a band, maybe it's a t-shirt. Maybe it's your dog taking a nap. <laughs> Hit it, walking over the top, walking back. Top, walking back. 
You're going to keep a nice flat back. You're going to seesaw a little bit on those toes. Your toes are staying planted. They're going to reach forward as you go across, come back. Reach forward, come back. Come here curls are coming next. Relax. Go a little lighter on these guys. Protect those elbows and those shoulders. All right. Elbows up facing away from you. Go. Elbows are staying pointed forward. Guys, these are brutal. These should feel pretty tough. If you're not doing it right, think about keeping those elbows up nice and tall. Signaling someone to come here. Power scissors with a ball pass is coming next. I'm gonna grab my small object, my little ball, balled up sock, whatever. My ball is in my right hand, it means my right leg's going back. Ready? Go. It's a power scissor, you're going into a lunge. If you don't like the jumping aspect of it, just drop that back knee into a step back lunge. But if you're feeling good, get up into the air, drive that ball. Come on, come on, come on. Back up the pyramid, come here, curls. Elbows face forward. Here we go, feet planted. Weights up, elbows forward. Those weights are counterbalancing and you're probably gonna lean back a little bit. I see in my video there, my back is leaning back. My elbows are trying to stay forward. As I squeeze those weights towards me. High plank over your dumbbell. Put your dumbbell on the floor. Put your shoulders immediately above the dumbbell. Feet back. Walking across, walking back. Walking across. Suck that belly button in. Pull those abs in. Back is flat. This is a, I mean it's doable, but we really want to be here. All right? We got ground ball jump shots coming in five seconds, people. Ground ball jump shots. Here we go. Whew, I'm getting a little sweaty. Get ready for that ground ball. Feet ready. Hands down. Hit it. Hey, you feel good? You can go way faster than me. You have any issues? Knees, hips, ankles? Maybe go a little slower. Maybe it's just a little side shuffle, reach, and pop. You need to do what you need to do. Clean and press, this is it. Last move, then we get a new page. Here we go. Feet planted, waist in front of your thighs, hang clean. Clean, press. Right up your body nice and tight. Press overhead. Good stuff. 25 seconds of work, 10 seconds to recuperate. Next page. All right. Okay. Move number one, bent over rows. First round, we have our hands parallel, just like so for those bent over rows. When we come back down the pyramid, we'll end with our arms wide, just for some variety. Move number two, oh, my favorites. I've been calling them Thor hammer slams. Whatever, I'm gonna use my little ball. I'm gonna pretend I'm slamming this. Like it's a big, giant 25 pound medicine ball. I'm gonna slam it into the floor, into the floor. I'm getting up and slamming the heck out of that thing. It's not actually leaving my hand. I'm gonna pretend to slam it all the way down. Move number three. We did these the other day. Uneven push-ups. Minimal regular push-ups on your hands. If you need to tuck your, if you need to go on your knees and tuck your heels in, that's fine. A little bit butter, better up on your toes. 
Better yet, one hand on a dumbbell. So I'm gonna put one hand on the dumbbell, one hand flat. For the first round, I'll have that. For the second round, I'll switch hands. And if you're feeling really good, stand that dumbbell up. And now you're gonna do those push-ups on one side, which is really gonna attack one side of your chest more than the other. And then we'll hit the other side on the way back. Move number four, triceps kickbacks. Hinging over, popping those weights back. Move number five, predator jacks. You're gonna get into a bunched up position. It's jacks, but you're gonna extend those arms wide and pop forward a little bit. So like this, <sighs> from the side, it looks like this. <sighs> popping those arms open like the predator, okay? Are we good? Here we go. Bend over rows, hands parallel. They're facing each other. Let's get heavy, let's get ready. All right guys, 25 seconds of work. Hands parallel, hinge over, go. As I always say, this is not super heavy for most of you guys. A lot of you guys can probably handle this no problem. So you wanna make sure you're focusing on good form, keeping those elbows nice and close to your rib cage. Nice neutral back. You're not hinging up like this, you're not hunching over like this. Nice neutral back, good. Okay, I'm using my little ball. You don't need anything. You just pretend you have a ball in your hands. We're doing those ball slams or four hammer slams. Ready? Go! These can be brutal if you're doing it right. Get way up in the air, slam them down, slam them down. Come on, come on. Keep pushing, let's go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Uneven push-ups. I'm gonna put one dumbbell up high on the end. You can use the side of the dumbbell. You can use a book. Here we go, feet back, shoulders up. If you're using one dumbbell on its end and you're way over to the side, even if you're on your knees doing that, even if you're on your knees on that dumbbell, you're doing practically a one-arm push-up because that one arm is not doing a whole lot. And that's what we want to think about. Come on. <laughs> Triceps kickbacks. I'm grabbing medium heavy weights. My feet are underneath my hips. <sighs> Hinge over, elbows up. <laughs> Kick it. <sighs> hey, at the bottom of that motion, pause for a second. Don't use momentum. Don't swing and swing and swing. Pause, kick them back. Pause, kick them back. Come on, we got this thing. Come on, come on. Predator jacks are coming up next. Predator jacks. Here we go, come on. Predator was an awesome movie. Let's pay homage. Here we go. Bunch yourself up. Ah. You're getting a little forward and back, as well as up and down. Again, guys, it's your workout. You wanna go crazy fast and small, that's fine. You wanna get bigger jumps, that's fine. <laughs> Triceps kickbacks, come on. Back up the pyramid. Triceps kickbacks, here we go. We're hinging over, elbows up, kick, kick, maybe you're using resistance bands, maybe you have two giant cans of chunky noodle soup, whatever, but kick those triceps back, make those triceps do the work, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Uneven push-ups. My other hand is on top of my dumbbell. My other hand is down below my shoulder. Feet back, hips up. Maybe you're on your knees. Tuck those heels into your butt. Maybe you're on your toes. Maybe you're doing something uneven like I am. Just keep on pushing. We did these on Saturday. I think they got me. I was a little sore in my chest area. All right, guys. Ball slams, come on. 
Let's get that cardio up. We get to end with bent over rows. Let's make these slams count. Feet ready, hands ready. Come on, slam it, baby. Let's go. If you need to catch a quick breath, hit it, that's fine. But get back to it. Come on, come on, seven seconds. Let's go. I love those. Bend over rows. This time, overhand grip. Arms are wide. Here we go. Hinge back. Hey, if you took those ball slams seriously like I did, you're probably breathing heavy. Keep that head neutral. Arms are wide. Keep breathing. We get a breather in 10 seconds. Nice flat back, neutral head. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I felt that one. Okay. Whew. All right, guys. Let's move to our next page. Quick drink if you need it. Okay. Move number one. Alternating lunges. You know what? Let's do it this way. Let's do a pendulum one. So get some weights. You don't hold a bunch of weight at your hips like suitcases. So what I'd like you to do is just pick one leg. That leg's gonna lunge forward, and then it's gonna lunge backwards. Then it's gonna lunge forward, then it's gonna lunge backwards. Pendulum style, we'll do that one leg for the whole time. We'll hit the other leg on the way back around. Move number two, high knees and butts. Let's do, uh, let's do eight and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. okay? Heel kicks to your butt, high knees, 88888. Eight, 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 eight. Move number three, dead bug. Preferably with some very light hand weights if you have some. You're gonna put those hand weights up in the air. You're gonna put those feet up in the air. Opposite side, hand and foot, drop down together. Drop down together. Drop down together. No weights, no problem. Drop down together. Drop down together. Hardest version, your feet never touch. Gets close to the ground, pops right back up. Lock them out straight. A little easier to have those legs bent, that's fine. But if you want to challenge yourself, keep those legs nice and straight. Okay, I hope you're either doing a boxer shuffle or sitting on a wall. Move number four, shoulder presses. Let's, let's make that Arnold presses, just because I like them so much. So Arnold presses, palms facing you, Rotate them as you press up. Rotate as you press up, good. And our last move is a star jump. <sighs> Gather, star, star, star. Open up those feet, open up those hands, jump into the air. If you don't wanna jump, give me a hop. <sighs> hop, <sighs> it's kinda like a mean jumping jack. Are we good? Grab some medium heavy weights, we got lunges, guys. Here we go. Whew. Weights at your sides. Chest up tall, pick your favorite leg. Back lunge, forward lunge. Back lunge, forward lunge. Hey, you want a harder version of this? That leg that's doing the lunge, never let it touch. So back lunge, do not let it touch. Forward lunge, do not let it touch. Back lunge. All the way through. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Breather. High knees and butt kicks. You know what, check that, do six and six. Six high and six butt, ready, set. One, two. I recognize a couple names on that list. I think you guys ran track in high school. You better know how to do these. Dead bugs. Grab some medium weights. Don't go too heavy. You're on your back, hands up, feet up.
Pull those abs in. Nice straight legs makes it harder. Heels never touch. Opposite side. Come on, get the rhythm. Come on. Good. Arnold presses. You know what? I'm going to stay on my knees. I'm staying down. You do what you want to do. Here we go. Weights up. Sometimes I like to stay down to take the momentum of that upper or that lower body out of the equation. That takes away any chance of incorporating your legs to push this weight. Star jumps are coming. Come on. Come on. Star jumps. Here we go. If you can gather a little. Hands and feet together. Again, you don't like jumping, step out, that's fine. The knees can be a little pop and back. If you're feeling good, you can go nice and fast. You can go super high. Arnold presses. I'm going back down, and again, I'm going to use my band this time, just because. Here we go. Weights up. Rotate. Those palms end up facing forward at the top of the motion. I'm pretty sweaty. How are you guys doing? Anybody else sweaty? You better not respond. That means you're not watching. That means you're not working. Dead bugs are coming. Dead bugs. Medium hand weights. I'm laying on my back. Hands up in the air. Feet up in the air. Straight arms and straight legs is the hardest version. Control the weight. Control your leg. High knees and butts, sixes and sixes. High knees and butts. Let's go. Hop up, come on. 10 seconds is much time. High knees and butts, ready? Six and six. Come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. 607, oh my goodness. We're flying. <sighs> Alternating lunges, that other leg. Whichever leg lunged last time, this time it's the post. The other leg doesn't work. Chest up. Come on, let's go guys. Oh man, I don't know if I wanna do the next page. Keep on working. Keep on working. Let's go. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. Quick drink of water. I think we're going to be done with that stuff. I have one more page. I don't want to take up too, too much of your time. I got pizza to go pick up after this. Mm. Okay, guys. Let's do one last Tabata. Let's do a punching Tabata. I miss punching and boxing and hitting bags and stuff like that. So let's grab some light hand weights. Maybe you have your gloves around. You want to put your gloves on? That's fine. All right. We're going to do Tabata with punching. Left foot forward. So normal Tabata. 20 seconds of work. 10 seconds of rest. Here we go, guys. Weights up in front of your chin. Left foot forward for jab, cross, jab, cross. You all ready? Weights up. Jab, cross. So if you have light hand weights like I do, you want to twist that fist as it gets out in front where that punch is happening. And also, I'm making sure that my right hip is driving forward with every punch. I'm not just swinging those arms. Plus, my other hand is staying in front of my face. Relax. Left foot still forward. This time we got hooks. All right, feet planted. Weights up. 
Hugs. Again, guys, you can absolutely just do this and you'll be doing something that's better than nothing, but that's just your arms. Drive those hips with every single punch. And I'm keeping that non-punching hand up in front of my face. Protect that face. Come on, come on. Left foot still forward for uppercuts. We got uppercuts. Uppercuts coming, here we go. Left foot planted. Fist up. Again, I keep saying it, but boxers do not just stand motionless with their bodies and just fling their arms out. You're driving that hip with each punch. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Come on, come on, come on. Feet together this time, feet together parallel underneath your shoulders. We're punching up overhead. Weights up, one higher than the other. Ready? Quick punches. It's fast. Hands are facing your ears. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Five. Back to the top. Right foot forward. Jab cross, jab cross. Right foot up top. Hands up. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, drive. Come on, shoulders. Come on, Monday. Happy Monday. <sighs> Whew. How y'all feeling? You guys feeling good? You guys feeling good? Here we go. We got hooks, right foot forward. Nothing but hooks. Come on. Big swing, hips driving. Let's go. Come on. Uppercuts, uppercuts. Right foot still forward. Weights up. Drive, come on, get those hands up. Get that hand up, underneath that chin, into that rib cage, come on. Come on, swing, get it. Last move, feet together again, we're going up overhead again. I know, it's hard, feet on your shoulders. Weights up, one up higher. Heads up, chin up, keep breathing. Come on, fast, fast, fast. Hey, nice workout today, guys. I got eh, 471 calories. It's not too bad for 40 minutes worth of work. All right, let's stretch together real quick, then we'll hit the road. First things first. Whew. Feet underneath those shoulders. Let's get those hands out far. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Good. And relax. Hands on those hips. Let's just do a big torso circle in one direction. Just a big old circle at those hips. Just rotate it through. This is a funny stretch. It looks like uh, silver sneakers or... Dancing to the oldies or something. Switch, other direction. Come on, good. And relax. Feet together, straight down. I know a lot of people in class are a little younger than me, I get it. So, you know, 10, 20 years from now, when we're not all able to do all this stuff, you guys gotta come with me to Silver Sneakers. We'll do it together there. That would be the most badass Silver Sneakers class ever. Roll up. Good, good, good. Just grab your favorite arm right across your shoulder. <sighs> grab a little bit above your elbow. Just push it a little bit in. And switch, other side. And relax.
relax. Let's get one foot up for a quad stretch. We did a lot of jumps. Hey, Kitty. Hey, Charlie. That's Charlie. She's beautiful. And switch, other leg. Grab that leg, pull it up. Come here. Look at this kitty. How cute is she? And relax, okay. Big giant arm circles. I'm sorry, guys, I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why. And reverse. One giant inhale. Ladies and gentlemen, I miss you all very, very much. I can't wait to see you all again in live and in person in the gym. And, uh, you know, have some nonsense going on there. Guys, thank you for joining me so much. I'll be here again Wednesday. Cindy Carlin, I see you. Come join us. Come work out with us. Um, Wednesday, same time, 5.30. Um, I'm also here on Tuesdays at 6 o'clock. You need to follow the Royal Fitness Gym page. It's through their special online classes there. So uh, uh, online live through Facebook, but through Royal Fit. And then Saturday morning, of course, 9.20 a.m. Bring some friends, man. Let's make this a big old party. Try to keep that rotation going. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great night. Make good decisions, especially you. All right, talk to you later.